Hello guys, my name is Prince and this is my center. Subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Post your comments and questions on my social media handles and I'll respond to it. We are still on the topic simultaneous linear equations in two variables. In the previous video, we learned how to solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables using the elimination method. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve simultaneous linear equations in two variables using the substitution method. So let's take some questions and see how this is done. Using the substitution method, solve for x and y in the following pairs of equations. We have been given three pairs of equations. We will solve the first one in this video, then we will look at the others in the subsequent videos. So let's take the question for this video. The question given us is 2x plus y is equal to 4 and x plus y is equal to 5. So as usual, I'll call the first one equation 1, then the second one equation 2. Now using the substitution method, this is what you are going to do. In the substitution method, you have to make one of the variables the subject in one equation. Now this is what I mean. The variables in this equation are x and y. So you either make x the subject in equation 1 or you make y the subject in equation 1. You can also make x the subject in equation 1 or you make y the subject in You can also make x the subject in equation 2 or you make y the subject in equation 2. So you make one of the variables the subject in one of the equations. I'm going to choose equation 2. So this is what I will do. I will make y the subject in equation 2. In making y the subject in equation 2, what it means is that I want to make y stand alone. So I will take x from this side and bring it over here. So I will have y is equal to 5 minus x. Now I'm going to call this new equation here equation 3. After you have made y the subject in equation 2, I will substitute this new equation into equation 1. So I make y the subject in equation 2. Then I will substitute this y is equal to 5 minus x into equation 1. What this means is that wherever I see y in equation 1, I will replace it with 5 minus x. So from here, I will say that I will substitute equation 3 into equation 1. And in doing that, we know that for equation 1, we have 2x plus y is equal to 4. So this is what's going to happen. 2x is already there. But y is now 5 minus x. So I will replace y with 5 minus x. So you have 2x plus, instead of y, it's now 5 minus x is equal to 4. So I made y the subject in equation 2. Then I will substitute it into equation 1. Make sure that after you've made y the subject in equation 2, you don't substitute it back into equation 2. You substitute it into the other equation, which is equation 1. And that is exactly what I've done here. From here, we have a linear equation on our hands, so we can solve it. In solving this linear equation, we group like terms and simplify. So you are going to have 2x minus x is equal to 4 minus 5. From here, we can see that x is equal to minus 1. So we have been able to solve for x. The other part is to solve for y. In solving for y, we have formed a new equation called equation 3, where we have y as the subject. So we just substitute y into it. Now remember we said that from equation 3, y is equal to 5 minus x. So we can see from here that y is equal to 5 minus x. But we have now found x to be minus 1. So what this means is that wherever you see x, you can replace it with minus 1. So we are going to have y is equal to 5. Now look at something. x is minus 1, but there is already a minus here. So you are going to have 5 minus minus 1. And that is going to give us 5 plus 1. What is 5 plus 1? 6. So we can say that y is equal to 6. So using the substitution method, we have solved this and we now have x is equal to minus 1 and y is equal to 6. You can try using the elimination method and see if you get the same answer. Thank you for watching this video. 
like and subscribe this video for more videos share the link with your friends so that you also enjoy this video in the next video we are going to take another question on simultaneous linear equations in two variables using the substitution method bye bye